Welcome to Ice Hockey UK TV in association with McDonald's as Great Britain begin their journey to try and qualify for the 2018 Winter Olympics. It's all beginning here in Coventry. The training camp is on the way and soon tomorrow they will swap Coventry for Cortina in the Alps in Italy as they try and qualify for the final qualifying stage so they would be one step away then from the 2018 Winter Olympics. GB will play three games in four days, starting on Thursday against the Netherlands, Saturday it's Serbia, and Sunday evening it is Italy, the host. There are a whole host of ways to follow GB over the next few days, including here on Ice Hockey UK TV. We will be bringing you features and all sorts of stuff from behind the camp, but also BBC Radio, they are covering the games there is five live coverage throughout, including play-by-play -play commentary on Five Live Sports Extra with Seth Bennett and special guests. And on Premier Sports on television, join Aaron Murphy and Paul Lady to cover all the games there. There's plenty of ways you can watch GB over the next few days. Well, one of the first things Pete Russell had to do, of course, with his much-changed squad, there's been five changes from the original named squad, but one of the first things he did is name his captaincy team. Jonathan Phillips, once again, captain. You also have Mark Richardson wearing an A. No Robert Dowd on this trip at the moment. So David Clark, who was injured in the World Championship, he will wear an A as well. So shortly, we'll hear from David Clark and Mark Richardson, but first the captain, Jonathan Phillips. Jonathan Phillips, captain of Great Britain. I guess you never get tired of hearing that, surely. Yeah, it's a um, very proud moment, um, you know, when you're a kid and you're kind of dreaming of playing for your country and um, having the chance to, to be the captain and go to the Olympic qualifiers is something I'm uh, yeah, very, very proud of and, and, and honoured. Slight captaincy change with the alternates, Mark Richardson obviously once again and your, your best friend uh, David Clark. So uh, they're two experienced guys that you can lean on, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. And two very important players too, you know, not only in the room and what they bring in experience, but um, I just think how they play the game. You know, Clark, he, we kind of missed him last year for his, uh, for his goals. And um, I think Richie proves uh, every, every single year how, how valuable he is. And, um, you know, he had a, an excellent World Championships last year and um, got that big o OT goal and tying goal too. So two very important players and, and, and two big characters for our team. Does the Olympic world, as now, Cortina, Olympic pre-qualifiers, but talking about the Olympics, does it make that extra bit special? Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. It's, it, it, um, you know, we, we managed to be lucky enough to get through to the final stages before, and um, that's something, you know, that's, that's kind of really in our, in our mindset. And um, we're excited to be going to this tournament. And, you know, we fly tomorrow morning, and, um, yeah, the boys can't wait. The last time you were at this stage, you went kind of as underdogs to Japan and against all the odds you, you won there and I remember hearing from people when you came back from the trip and they talked of the good bond the immense bond between the players and it's something that's kind of never left since that tournament would you agree? No and I mean a lot of us have been together for a long time now and then um, you know uh, some of the new guys filtered in through and they, they, they've kind of they've got the same mentality as us in, in, is, to, is to work hard and have fun and um, that's kind of what we just try and do and I think that's, that's kind of in the spirit of, of, of British guys to be honest and um, yeah we, as I said before we're just excited to get this thing going and um, we, we'd love to have a, a repeat of uh, Japan. Three games in four days. Do you have to prepare mentally or physically any different to you would when you've got a slightly longer tournament as a world championship? No, I don't think so. I, I, I think we're used to kind of hectic schedules and just with our club teams and, you know, with, with the world championships in the past. So we're used to kind of all of that. And I mean, for us, it's a good chance for us all to be together and, and, um, and bond and have some, uh, have some fun. Mark, your final skating session before you, you leave for Italy, how, how do you feel it's gone? Uh, it's gone well, obviously a lot of special teams and stuff uh, this evening, you know, just trying to get everyone uh, up to speed on that stuff, uh, but I think it was good. Um, obviously just nice to get on the ice as a team, we obviously don't usually have too much preparation, but it's nice to have today, and um, I think it's really helped us and we'll be ready to go. It's been quite an in intense day with a morning session and an evening session, but I guess it's crucial with, with such a, a busy schedule in three games in four days. Yeah, obviously at this stage of the season it's a little hard to be on the ice twice in a day, but um, obviously we, we need to, the, to use the time we have together because we don't get much. And um, as I said, I think it's been really effective and um, it's going to help us uh, coming into this tournament.
Once again, you're, you're wearing the, the A for the tournament alongside David Clark and Jonathan Phillips, as you, you see. Is it, is it still very special from when you first wore it? Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> Every, anytime, you know, even if you had it the year before, you don't just expect it the year after. You feel like you've earned it and uh, you're really proud to wear it. Is it a responsibility that you enjoyed last time around? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, there's different types of leaders. I, I'm not too vocal, but hopefully lead by example out there and with work ethic, etc. So, you know, we have so many leaders on the team anyway that you know, are leaders at their clubs. So it all just comes together and, uh, you know, we're wearing the letters, but, uh, you know, we have so many leaders. It's going to be a funny tournament because you're going to come up against Netherlands, who you seem to play every single year. You've got Italy at the end, who obviously you've not played for a while, but you know how good they are. And then an unknown quantity in, in Serbia. It's going to be a strange tournament. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, as you say, we, we seem to play in Netherlands uh, quite a lot over the last few years. And uh, so we know what they're going to be like. But uh, in terms of Serbia, we don't really know what to expect. Um, Italy, again, we played them, but they've had a few changes in you know, how they, the makeup of their team with dual nationals, etc. So we'll, we'll have to see when we get there. But... You know, we've just got to worry about ourselves and if, if we're ready, we know that we can, we can beat anyone. David, at this time, just before a tournament, when you, when you all meet up, it must be extra special. I know you play each other every week and batter ten bells out of each other, but then coming together as Great Britain before a tournament, it, it must feel so special. Yeah, it's great. We uh, spend, like you say, a lot of time chasing each other around, whacking lumps out of each other. So it's, it's nice to get together. We've all kind of grown up playing on a national team together, the majority of us, different age groups, and it's nice to be making a push mid-season. Pete's had to make five changes, actually, for the other night. One early on because Robert Dow was injured. But then you look what he's brought in. It, it does show that there really is depth in this GB national squad at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, last, last year before the team went away to the World Championships, Pete had a few uh, selection you know, troubles. There's so many guys available now, and, and that's a good thing. We've got a lot more depth in the national programme now. And uh, Yeah, the guys that have come in, they're doing great. Um, great to see Oki getting his first taste as well, and he's doing really good, fitted in really well. And, it bodes well. You missed the last World Championship, so, so you must be itching to get on that ice. Absolutely, yeah. So it was just nice to kind of be back with the guys. Um, you know, fortunately, we've had this mid-season to qualify for the Olympics, and uh, yeah, great to be back a part of it and uh, really enjoying it. And wearing the A, does it just give you that extra spring? Because obviously Pete's named you as an A for this tournament. Yeah, it's a responsibility to be a leader. Um, there's, there's lots of guys that wear letters around uh, on the various clubs. So, yeah, I'm privileged to wear that and uh, hopefully I can help contribute to the leadership. Obviously you wear the C for the Panthers. Is it something that you, you thrive on? Is it, you know, sometimes people take pressure jobs and they don't thrive. But seeing you on the ice, you're the type of player that seems to enjoy that and take it up on it. Yeah, I think you, you, the longer you play, the more comfortable you are in leadership positions. And, uh, yeah, I've done it in Nottingham for a number of years now. And, yeah, it's to support Jonathan, support Pete. And, you know, like I said, there's lots of guys that, 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 um, that are leaders on this team and, you know, just fortunate to, to be given a letter. Does this tournament feel extra special? World Championships are, are a great honour, but when it becomes Olympic, this is the start of your Olympic journey, it just kind of gets the sort of pulses racing even more, I think. It sure does, and it's a, it's a smaller period as well. It's, it's just three games, and you've got, to, you've got to produce straight off the bat, and, uh, you know, we're nice and prepared here. We've spent a good, 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 good few practices now, and, uh, you know, be ready to come, come Netherlands. We'll be ready for the first game. OK, good luck. Thank you very much, Chris.